Hey guys, I'm the Burke and I do things. And you guys asked for a lip product declutter and I did not think it was gonna be this many products. So I'm overwhelmed, but I think what I'm gonna do is figure out some way to sort this out into categories because this is everything. This is lip liners, lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, lip gloss, all that jazz. So I have no idea how much of this is gonna get decluttered, but what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna separate it right now, and then we can get down and dirty. Let's go. Okay, so the way I kind of decided to do this was by brand. I don't know if that's the right decision. I didn't do it by formula. The only thing I separated by formula were lip crayons and lip pencils. Other than that, we're doing this by brand. I don't know how long this is gonna take. There is a lot. So the first brand is NYX. So the first formula, I am gonna keep all of these. These were all in my favorite drugstore lip products. These are the NYX Lip Lingeries. I think I'm gonna have to zoom out. We have corset, lace detail, embellishment, and black book. So I really do like this formula. Next we have a, we have two butter glosses. I can't remember if I like this formula. This is Trey Lesh, and I think this is creme brulee, which is I think is more of a classic. But honestly, if I'm being realistic, I never wear this formula. So I think I'm gonna declutter the butter glosses and keep the lip lingerie. This is the Pump It Up in Elizabeth. And this is the formula I honestly wear more often. So I'll keep this. Then I have a soft matte lip cream. This is my only one of these left. This is the shade Milan. Oh gosh, this is like dried out, honestly. So this might just have to go in the trash because that dried out. So that was an easy one. Then our last one here is the Soft Matte Lipstick. What shade is this? This is in Bloomington. Yeah, I definitely never wear that. So, getting rid of four, keeping five for NYX. Okay, here is our next brand and this is ColourPop. So I have one, two, three, four, five, and five different finishes. The first I have the most of are the glossy lips. So this one is Wham. This was one of the glosses in their No Kill LA fundraiser a couple years ago, and it's really, really pretty. Definitely keeping that. Then I have Neat Freak. This was part of the first collab they did with Shayla. I also really like this formula. Next is called, oh, this is Ipsy VIP. This is actually the first ever ColourPop product I tried, I think. Oh, wow. I definitely did not remember that. That actually looks really cool. I might keep that and just try to remember I have it. And then I also have Moonchild, which is part of the Kathleen Lights collab, and I love this gloss. So I'm definitely keeping all the glossy lips is what we've come down to. Now I have the satin lips. So this is another one of, this is BAM, and this is another one from the Kill, the No Kill LA collab. And I, hmm. <sighs> I feel like I have to keep one very dark shade because sometimes I need a dark shade for Halloween looks, and I think this would be a good dark shade for Halloween. So I'm only keeping this one for Halloween. Don't let me keep any other dark shades unnecessarily. This one is from the Kathleen Lights collab and this is Dreamy. I really like this one. There is Dreamy right there. And then this is also from Kathleen Lights and this is Revere, Revere, I never know how to say this, okay. This is a very orangey red, but I think it's so pretty. Right there. All right, not doing too good getting rid of color pop so far. Then I have two lippy sticks. This first one is Aquarius. I really, really like that one. Oh. <laughs> and then this one is Bound. These are both the creme formula. I'd really like, I really wanna try the, the matte formula, but he, it's this really pink color, but I really like it, so I'm keeping it. But here's one we can probably get rid of. This is an ultra matte in the shade Tuesday. I actually did not buy this because I'm aware of how drying the mattes are. <laughs> oh God, it's chunky too. Um, so I'll probably be getting rid of this. I actually had been given this one for free, so 
I'll part ways with the matte. And then this was in my, one of my best, my favorites. This is the Hades Creme lipstick. And I love this lipstick. So here's our keep for ColourPop versus our getting rid of. Not the best, not the worst. Actually, probably pretty close to the worst. All right, here's our next. <laughs> there are a lot of brands and I only have two. So here's our first two for this is the Pixie Matte Formula. I feel like I talk about this all the time. I absolutely love this formula for very quick swatches. We have Eau Naturel and Pastel Petal. Both are keep. Next, we have my Buxom Lip Products. So we have two full-on plumping lip polishes. This shade is White Russian. This is a little tiny sample. I think I got this from Sephora. But this is my favorite lip gloss formula, so there is White Russian, and then this is Sugar. I just love this formula so much. And then this one I actually found at TJ Maxx. This is called the Bold Gel Lips Lipstick, and this is actually also the shade White Russian. Just a matte formula of this color. Yep. Keeping all these. <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> okay, here's where I may do well. I actually might get rid of all three of these. So this is my Tarte. So this is their lip sculptor. So one side is a lipstick and the other is a gloss, but I don't really find that I reach for them. So this one, I'm not even gonna swatch the gloss. This is the shade Trinket. And I also have Gem. I don't really have a problem with these. Honestly, these smell really good. I just mm, very rarely reach for them. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep these and give them a last try. Because I actually really do like the formula. I just always forget about them. I need to organize my lip products better. But this one I am gonna get rid of. This came in a boxy charm. This is the lip, their lip paint in striped gold. I literally wore this once. It's just, it's not for me. God, I'm doing so bad. Oh, I'm gonna keep doing really bad. Now we have two <laughs> Bare Mineral Gen Nude Matte Lip colors and these were in my favorite products from brands and this is my favorite product that Bare Minerals makes so these are also not going anywhere. This is the shade Cookie. These are my best smelling lip products. So there's Cookie and this one is Juju. So these are also staying. Found some stuff we can get rid of. This is a set I got from Pacifica. I'm not even going to swatch them because they swatch so dry and like painfully like it's almost like a dry formula these are the power of love power color natural lipsticks i got a set of these a while back from marshall's and they were just like a big flop so i'm just gonna get rid of all of them okay now we have morphe also my favorite product that morphe makes is their liquid lipsticks so these are also staying so i have the shade virgin and jealousy Oh boy, I'm not doing too well. Okay, I have these two teeny tiny samples. These are from Beauty by Pop Sugar. I got these samples from Ulta. So this one is the Be The Boss lip gloss and I actually really like this formula. So I will be keeping that. And this one is the Be Racy Liquid Velvet Lip and I'm pretty sure I like this one too. Yeah, like that's so pretty. Oh gosh, keeping these. All right, here is something I have a lot of. Let me separate these. Okay, this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have three liquid lipsticks and three lip glosses. I'm gonna swatch these and think about it. This is Crush. Okay, I like that one. This is Stripped. Like that one. This is Ashton. Ooh, I like that one. All right, these are the glossies. This one doesn't have a name on it, but I think it's called Saint Tropez. You know what? I can pass on this one. This one is Moon Jelly. It's really pretty and it's like iridescent. I don't know if you can see the iridescence, but uh, I think I could pass on that. And then this is Kristen. I do like that. I'm gonna keep this. 
So keeping four, getting rid of two. All right, still got some more room, so I won't clean it up yet. All right, here's something else we're not getting rid of. The Healthy Lip from Physicians Formula. I've talked about these in a lot of videos lately, so I'll do really fast swatches. We have Au Naturel Nude and Fight Free Reticles. My favorite product that Physicians Formula makes. All right, and now we have Elf, and I actually don't know if I'm gonna keep any of these, so this is called Scott. Like my boyfriend, I, oh, it's broken. Okay, that's not a good first sign. Oh my God, this is just broken. We're just gonna say no. This is the lip balm, it's a lip balm. Hmm, maybe I'll keep this then. It doesn't really belong in my lip products then. It goes with lip balms. Okay, this I'm just gonna get rid of. This is a clear lip gloss, I don't really need that. And this is pink, perfect pink. What is this? Yeah, I can get rid of that. So I'm gonna get rid of these and put this with my lip balms. Now we got some CoverGirl. Two out of three are Katy Perry themed. This is the Katy Perry, Kitty Perry lipstick. Oh, I've had this one for a very long time. Gotta keep it. I just love Katy Perry. I also love the Katy Cat gloss in Catalope. So pretty, just didn't mean to move that. And then this is the Vitalist Elixir Lip Oil in Grape Juice. That's actually really pretty. I'm keeping all of this. Oh boy, not doing good. Now we have Smashbox. I have two minis of the Always On Liquid Lips. I actually love this formula. So these actually were in my best of 2018. So this is Babe Alert. I got this one in an Ipsy Glam bag. Love that. Then this is Boss. And I actually wore this to a wedding last year. That's how brave I was. I feel like it is time for me to go clean my canvas. And then we can go on. I don't even think we're halfway done. Okay, I'm back and I took a dinner break because this needed a break. I definitely wiped off all of my self tan, but now we're at Dose of Colors and I'm gonna keep one and get rid of one. So bear with me is the one I used to have that I always thought was so drying. And now I'm thinking maybe the formula was just not good because I got Lazy Daisy in my BoxyCharm and this in comparison performs very well. So I'm gonna keep one, toss one. Okay, I have these two glossy sticks from Soap and Glory. I'm gonna get rid of them both. This is Technicoral. It's very cool. It's literally a gloss and a stick. And this is Pink Punch, but I never reach for them, so I'm gonna pass these along. Okay, so these are all actually from Ulta's Beauty Brand. And I know I'm gonna get rid of this one. This is their ju Juice Infused Lip Oil. I just was not a fan. I have a couple lipsticks here. So this is flushed pink. I mean, it's pretty, but I know I never reach for it. So I'll pass that along. This is stay fierce. It's literally so similar. I'll pass that along. This one does not have a name, but it's like a mini. Oh, it's kind of pretty. I might keep the mini. This is a matte liquid lip. It's pretty, but I don't think I'll reach for it. And then this one I've had forever. This is the Super Shiny Gloss in Stellar. I think I used this one in college. So I think this one has had its time and can go. So keeping one, decluttering five. So next we have Marc Jacobs. And it's interesting that these colors look so different because these are both sugar sugar. So I'm definitely keeping this one. This is the sugar sugar lip gloss stick. And this is like one of my new favorite things. <laughs> so I'm definitely keeping this one. However, the actual like lip gloss is like, first of all, like those are very different colors, but I don't really like the formula of this. Whereas I really like this. So I'm gonna keep this, declutter that. Okay, here we have L'Oreal. Yeah, 
All right, so this is the Pro Gloss in Blush. I feel like I got this because of Jaclyn Hill. It is really pretty, hmm. but I never reach for it. Oh, but I never reach for it, so you know what? We'll declutter this. This one was in my favorite drugstore lip products. This is the Pro Matte Gloss in Bare Attraction. I do love this one. So this is staying. Now I have these Lay Chocolat ones, and I can't remember what I thought about them, but I have three of them. I know that these smell delicious. So this one is Sweet Tooth. Hmm. I wanna see the different shades and then maybe pick one to keep. This one is Dose of Cocoa. Hmm. And this one is Candyman. Hmm. They smell so delicious. Huh. I think I'm gonna keep Candyman and declutter the other two. So this is the Camilla Cabello Havana lip gloss. I really liked this from what I recall. Yeah, it smells delicious. Yeah, I think I'm gonna keep this. I don't have very many corally lip glosses, so I'll keep that. This is a lip balm. I don't know how it wound up here. This is, <laughs> so uh, this is actually kinda seen better days, so I might get rid of this. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this was the nude balm, but it kinda is a little funky, so we'll get rid of that. And then I have this lipstick in Red Fatale. This one's pretty old. I don't even know if they make this formula anymore. Yeah, I'll get rid of that. So got rid of five, kept three. <laughs> All right, here is my Baby Urban Decay collection. So this is one of their high fi shine glosses. This is the shade Naked. I actually really do like this, so I'll switch it right there. Yeah, I definitely really like this, so I'll keep that. It smells very, very minty. And then this is called Menace. Oh my. I mean, it's very pretty, but realistically speaking, I'm never going to wear that, so I'll declutter this and keep this. All right, this is what I have from Bite Beauty. The first is the French Press Lip Gloss in Flat White. This is one of my faves. Super nice neutral lip gloss. And then this is the Buttercream Lipstick in Pecan. So I'm gonna keep that as well. All right, here's our Wet n Wild collection. I have two liquid cat suits. These both were in my best, my favorite drugstore formulas. I have Nudist Peach and a Rebel Rose. I also had these minis. I, the only reason I didn't include these minis is because these minis don't have the shade names on them, so I can't identify them, but let's see what we got. Mm. I probably won't wear that, so I can declutter that. I think I like this one, though. Yeah, I do sometimes wear that one, so I'll keep this, and I'll probably declutter this one because this one is, oh my god, super chunky, first of all, and metallic, so yeah, I'll get rid of that one. This was in my favorites. This is the High Shine Cat Suit in Send Nudes. Are my swatches in frame? I'm really sorry if my swatches have been out of frame, like this entire video. So this is from the... Zodiac Collection, and this is the Aquarius Gloss. Hmm. I think I'm gonna declutter this one, even though I am an Aquarius. And this is from the Flights of Fancy one, and this is Featherless. Now, I remember loving this one. Hmm. You know, since I'm keeping the Camilla Cabello one, I'm gonna get rid of this one too, even though I love it. And then I have two of their lipsticks. This one is Bear It All, which I love. This one is Mochalicious, which I think I'm going to declutter. So, keeping five, decluttering five. All right, here we have Revlon. So we have three that I've had forever and my new Ultra HD lipstick. So let's go through these. This is the Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm. I'm probably going to get rid of these. I, I've had these for years. So this is Elusive, this is Sultry, and this is Standout. 
And then I'm gonna keep this. This is the Ultra HD Matte Lip Color in Seduction. I'm a fan. So keeping one and decluttering three. So next is Lime Crime. I've never bought from Lime Crime. These both, have, I've, I've received as free samples, but I actually really like the formula, so I'm going to keep these. So this is their, I think these are called their Velveteens maybe. So this one is Teddy Bear. And this one is Bleached. So yeah, I really do like these, so I will be keeping them both. So these are all ones I got from Shop Miss A. I think I'm going to declutter them all, but I will show you them first. So these are all the matte liquid lipsticks. So this is Extra, Work It, Faded, Tease. Oh, I'm so bad at keeping it frame. I'm so sorry, guys. And then this is a diamond lip gloss in Posh. This is actually pretty nice, but I don't really need it. So just a really glittery clear gloss. So five decluttered. Next, I have two Lara Geller products. This first one is the Color Drenched Lip Gloss in Piazza Pink. I think I've had this one for a very long time. Yeah, that is very, very pink. So I think I'm going to get rid of that. And this is the 50 Kisses Lip Locking Lip Color in Ravishing Ride. Yeah, I don't think I wear that. So I'm actually gonna get rid of both of these products. Okay, actually this is all I have from Maybelline, which isn't a lot. So let's go through what we got. So this was in my favorite drugstore products. This is the Plumper Please Duo. So this side is a crayon and this side is a gloss. So I'm gonna keep that. This I absolutely hate. This is the Vivid Hot Lacquer in Charmer. This is definitely going. I hate this formula. This is the Vivid Matte Liquid in Grey Envy. I actually like this product and it's a kind of a unique color so I will keep that one. Then I have this brown blush lipstick. I think I got this in a Walmart beauty box. I never wear that, so we can get rid of that. And then this one is Pink Satin. Mm, nah, getting rid of that. So getting rid of three, keeping two. I need to go do the thing again, and then I will be back for more torture. I mean decluttering. Okay, I don't know how much more my skin can take tonight. There is a lot of stain in, so I think I'm going to you know, finish up the uh, one last armful, and then I'll probably call it a night and be back in the morning and let my skin breathe. But right now I have MAC. So I have a bunch of lipsticks. This is Materialize Rich. Hmm. It's pretty, but I'll never use it, so. Pass that along. This is Katharina, Katharina, I don't know. Yeah, I'll never use that. This is Side Dish. Oh God. That has like no color, so I don't need that. This is Mineralize Rich. Mm. That one's tempting. Maybe I'll keep this one. This is Lustering. I think this came in an Allure Beauty box. Mm. Probably not gonna wear that ever. I'll pass that along. This is a matte lip in Bengal Tiger. This is actually orange and I'm definitely gonna keep it, thousand percent. And then I have two lip glasses. The first is the Ariana Grande collab in Viva Glam. I actually really, really like this one. This one I just took out of my purse. <laughs> so yeah, that one's staying. And then this one is Wet Wild Wonderful. That one I'll probably pass along. So. Decluttering five, keeping three. So the next brand I have here is Essence. So this one is the Instacare lipstick in Daily Maybe. I had this in my favorite drugstore formulas, so definitely keeping that one. And this one is just in the shade 03. 
I mean, it's pretty, but I'll, I'll pass it along. So, okay. So there was a time when I really was into Kylie cosmetics. So I don't even know what's what I'm just going to kind of go through and decide. So we have a matte. Oh, we have a visitor. Hello. We have a, this is 22. These honestly might not even be good anymore. So we have 22. Hmm. Tempted to keep that one. All right. Let's keep 22. What's this? This is Candy K. This is this this is my first liquid lipstick I ever bought. I have to keep Candy K. Ugh, this is gonna be hard. Okay, this is this is a velvet lip in harmony. So this is the only velvet I think I own. Hmm. I like that too. This is very annoying. Alright, this is Mary Jo K. These all smell so good. Hmm. I can probably get rid of Mary Jo K. This is apricot. Oh, I used to wear apricot a lot. Mm -hmm. I can get rid of apricot. This is bear. Oh my gosh. This might be one of my most worn Kylie ones. I'm going to keep it. I know this formula is drying, but I still love it. Head over heels. I remember liking this one. Hmm. I don't want to keep it, but I'll declutter it. This one is Posy K. That one I can get rid of. This one, oh, this is Posy K, but this is the gloss version. Mm, I'd rather not. Okay. This is birthday suit. I feel like this one was too nude for me. Yeah, that one didn't work on my... That one looked bad on me, so I'll get rid of that. This is King K. Yeah, I'll get rid of that one. This is the metallic. This is Malibu. I remember really liking Malibu. I think I gotta keep Malibu. <laughs> this is Kristen. I think this is the second shade I ever bought. Hmm. Mm hmm. Maybe I can get rid of Kristen. This one is naked. I feel like naked did not work on me either. Yeah, that doesn't work. We'll get rid of that. This one I love. This is Commando. Ah, oh, this might be one of my, yeah, I love that one. Oh, God, that sound. And then this one is High Maintenance. I feel like I wore this one a lot. I kind of want to keep that. All right. I kind of thought I was going to get rid of everything. Getting rid of nine, keeping seven. So like more than half. Okay. Okay. So here are my Ofra lipsticks. So this one is Verona. This came in a boxy charm. I don't love this shade. So I'll declutter it. This one was in a favorites video. This is Pasadena. I love this one. So I'll keep that one. Oh God. I'm so bad at staying in frame. This one is called Ipsy Unzipped. Mm, I'll get rid of that one. And then this one is from BoxyCharm as well. And this is Havana Nights. This is one of the Kathleen Lights collabs, but... I kept a different darker one earlier, so I don't think I need to keep this one as well. So I'll declutter three and keep one. Okay, so these are my Estee Lauder lipsticks. And I want to talk about something. These are just here because they're sentimental to me. These I do not use, but these are the only lipsticks I kept from my childhood. <sighs> if you want to see, I kept this one. This is the lipstick I used to wear in dance recitals. And this one is so gross. <gasps> this is the color I used to wear to junior high school. So I keep these for sentimental purposes, not to put on my mouth. So these are not going anywhere. This mini is called Rebellious Rose. Mm, I'm probably gonna get rid of that one. This one came in an Ipsy bag. This is Flash Chill. Yeah, I'm gonna get rid of that. So I'm gonna get rid of both of these Estee Lauders. Okay, so those were all of the lip products by brand. Now I have ones by category that I only have one of each from. So these are bullet lipsticks. So this is LA Girl in Struggle. Oh, I opened it upside down. 
I kind of like that. I'll keep that. This is Nude Sticks in Naughty and Spice. I like that as well. This is Makeup Forever in C211. Hmm. I can probably get rid of that. This is Chris... Christopher Buckle. This just, I recently got on BoxyCharm. I actually really like this. I wore this recently in a video. I like that one. This is from Stowaway Cosmetics and this is Burnt Rose. I like that, I'll keep that. Okay. This is from Finding Ferdinand and this is Knob Hill Red. This also, I think this, did this come in a Nipsey? I forget. Yeah, I'm never gonna wear that. I'll get rid of that. This is from Becca and this is in taupe this came in was this boxy Lux? i really need to give that a chance i haven't worn it since i tried it on i need to really test this out this is hank and henry i got this in is this boxy charm this is in petal pusher yeah i'm just gonna get rid of it i i never wear it this is a favorite of mine i've talked about this in a lot of videos this is alme lip vibes in go wild i love this so much and then this is just these are like my collector miranda sings <laughs> lipsticks so this is the daisy may like colleen lipstick i mean i'm definitely keeping these i'm just really showing you and then this is the miranda sings lipstick which looks like miranda So yes, I'm keeping both of these. So of these lipsticks, I'm decluttering three. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go wash this off for the night. And the categories I have left are liquid lipstick, the rest of the liquid lipsticks, the rest of the lip glosses, and then I have lip pencils and then lip liners. And then we'll be done. This is a very long video. Okay, see you tomorrow. Good morning, I am back with the rest of this video, my arm has, I moisturized it last night, so it's ready for more swatches. This is the group of matte lipsticks that I only have one from each brand, so let's go through these. This is the Lawless Liquid Lipstick in George. This was in my, I believe, April favorites. It's a really nice velvety formula, definitely keeping that. This is the Sleek Major Matte in Daydreamer. This made it into my favorite drugstore lip product video. Very pretty. Keeping that. I think this I got in Ipsy. This is the Doucet Luscious Lip Stain in Passion Peach. I think I actually really like this. I never reach for my lip stains, but I really do like them. That should be a goal for the summer is to reach for my lip stains more often because I really do like that color. So I'll keep that. This is another lip stain. This is from Too Cool for School. And this is the Glossy Blaster Tint. I don't know if that's what it's called, but I kind of want to start reaching for this one more as well. This I got in Ipsy. This is the Manicadar Lip Locked Prime Priming Lip Gloss Stain. Priming lip, I guess this is a stain too. And this is in All of Me. Maybe this was not a liquid lipstick, I don't know. I do actually like this product, so I'll be keeping that as well. Oh dear. <laughs> then I have from YSL, the Tutte Couture Matte Stain in 23. I think this, I feel like this is something I used points for at Sephora to get, but this is also a stain and I'm gonna keep that. This is from NARS. This is the American Woman Power Matte Lip Pigment. This was in my best, I think of 2018, but I really like this as well. Not doing too well here. This I got in a Lore Beauty Box. This is the Clay Melting Powder Lip in Desert Rose. I might get rid of this just because it's, I never reach for it because it's such a strange product. It's honestly really cool and it's a powder but it comes out like a actual like liquid lipstick but I'll pass this one along. This was a recent favorite. This is the Persona Matte Lips Color in OG. I really, really, really like this formula. A lot. Then from Too Faced, I have the Melted Matte in Sellout. I feel like I remember this was a really sticky, uncomfortable formula, so I feel like I'll pass this one along. This is from the Sephora collection. This is their Cream Lip Stain in number one. Hmm. I think I wanna keep this. I think I remember really liking this formula. And then finally, I have from Jeffree Star Cosmetics, 
This was the collab he did with Manny MUA, and this is Daddy. But honestly, it looks like super gray on my lips. So I think I'm gonna pass this one along. So keeping nine, decluttering three, not the best. Okay, now I have glosses that I only have one of each from each brand. First is from Lorac, and this is their Alter Ego Lip Gloss in Goddess. Hmm. I actually like that one. Next, this is from Philosophy, and this is the Vanilla Birthday Cake. I've had this one since college, so I think I'm gonna pass this one along. This is the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Lip Shine in True Nude. I actually really like, oh God, I really like this product. Okay, this one is brand new in my collection. This is the Luna by Luna Lip Gloss in Venus. This came in this past month's Boxy Charm. I do like this. Then this is an older one. This is from Jessie's Girl. This is their Glow Sticks Lip Gloss in Red Dawn. Bought this a while, like many years ago for a Halloween costume, so I'll probably get rid of this one. Then I have the Grande Lips Hydrating Lip Plumper. I never use this. I don't even know how you... I, I'm just gonna get rid of this. I don't actually know how to use this. <laughs> then this I actually got in a daily goodie box. This is from Pure Lano and this is a, a natural hydrating lip gloss in pure pink. It's one of those ones that has a mirror and it lights up. Mm, I think I'll pass this one along. And then finally from Tokyo Milk, I got this one in last month's Ipsy bag. Have, I've only tried it out once, so I need to give it a shot, but it's kind of just okay. So keeping four, getting rid of four. Okay, so we're done with that way. And now I have all of my lip pencils. So the first one is from Nude Sticks and this is the gel color in J Mama. I got this in I think maybe my first ever Allure beauty box, but I really, really like this. Then I have the Nude Sticks Intense Matte in Kiss and I love Love, love this one. Then this is the Visanti Matte Crush in It's Your Mauve. I think I got this in an Ipsy, but I really like that as well. This is from Trace Seek, and this is the Mini Lip Glaze in English Rose. I think this is also from Ipsy. You know, I think I can pass that one along. And this is from Marc Jacobs, and this is the Lamarck Crayon in Plum and Get It. I think I'm gonna pass that along too. So keeping three, decluttering two. Okay. Uh, okay, these are my lip pencils. I think I'm going to separate them by color first. Okay, I feel like I did a bad job, but these are the reds, these are the plums, and then these are the pinks and nudes, so. Hmm. I think I'm going to wash this off really quick and then we can do this. Okay, well, the beauty of stain, lip stains, are they stained? So we're just gonna work what we can get. I'm gonna start with just all of these. So this is the Kylie Candy K lip liner. And I do actually like her lip liner, so I'll probably keep them. I don't have a lot of lip liners. It's probably the smallest part of my collection. This is the Maybelline Color Sensational in Magnetic Mauve. I actually think this one came in a Walmart beauty box. That's pretty nice. I'll keep that. This is the Revlon Color Stay Blush Lip Liner. Oof, that one, nope. That one's a goner, okay. This is the Kylie Kristen Lip Liner. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, all right. I'm just gonna say that one is done. Okay, alrighty, and fill apart. Okay, this is the Kylie Harmony lip liner. That is the most annoying thing about the Kylie lip liners is they like freaking explode everywhere, but that's a nice one, I'll keep that. This is, I just got this in my Ipsy bag. This is the Illamasqua Media lip liner. I mean, I'll keep it for now. It's just, I don't know how long. I don't know, the formula seems okay. This is the NYX Suede Lip liner in Los Angeles. Yeah, I like that color. This is the Stila Stay All Day in Marsala. Let's see. It's a 
nice shade. I'll keep that. This is the MAC Etc. lip liner. Yeah, I'll probably keep that. This is the La Ritzy Bear lip liner. Oh God, no. I remember this one was like painful to use, so this one's gone. This is the Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Bear to Comment. I've actually been using this one the most lately. This is the creamiest formula. I love it. Okay, this is the NYX Lip Liner in Peekaboo Neutral. It's pretty nice. I'll keep that. This is the MAC Cultured Lip Liner. It's pretty nice. I'll keep that. This is the Milani number no. three lip liner. I have been using this nonstop all month. Yep, keeping that. This is the Makeup Forever Whatever Walnut. I'll keep that. And then this is the AOA lip liner in Faded. Oh yeah, that's pretty nice too. All right, I'm gonna keep all these. Right, now we have more of the berries. So this is the Illamasqua in Lust. This also came in Ipsy this month. I'll keep it for now. I don't, I don't know if I love the formula. I'm still testing it out. This is the Essence Lip Liner in Soft Berry. Okay, this one needs to be sharp. Hold on. There we go. Mm. Actually, that's a really pretty color. I'm gonna keep that. This is the MAC lip liner in Be Spoken For. I don't wear purples a lot, but at least if I keep a lip liner, then I have something. And this is the Wet n Wild gel lip liner in Plum Together. I mean, I'll keep them both. They're tiny to store. Okay, now I have my reds. We have the Wet n Wild gel lip liner in Red The Scene. Like I said, this is such a creamy formula. Then this is CoverGirl Lip Perfection in Passion. Okay. This is the Sephora collection. I don't even know if this has a number. Classic Red, it says. Okay. They're all the same. It's hilarious. Okay, this is Makeup Forever in Full Red. Mm -hmm. You know what? I don't really love that. I might get rid of that one. And then finally I have Kylie oh God, in 22. Yeah, I like that. So I'm keeping these and getting rid of four. Now I'm going to tally up my keep versus getting rid of and show you the ending results. Okay, wow. I actually did a lot better than I expected. So this side is the keep, this side is the declutter. I know this is still a lot, but wow. So I wound up keeping 117 and I decluttered 83. So it's not it's not quite half, but it's pretty close. So I'm pretty proud of myself. And uh, let me know what you guys think. This was a very long video. Let me know what you wanna see declutter next. And as usual, thanks for stopping by my channel. If you're new here, click the subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications. I have my Twitter and my Instagram down below. Give them a follow and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.